It's Supernatural Day! Good morning, everybody. It's 6.13 a.m. My hair is braided. Today is the first day that going to Supernatural Con. It's Saturday. Tattoo is ready. Today is costume day. They're having a contest. I don't know if I'm going to enter it, but my uh, baby slash Mandalorian costume is going to see the light of day today. Check the wind. Ooh, 
smell that Billy sweat from last night, huh?
was trying to think if I had the stomach for it. I think I do. <laughs> I think I do. Um, first of all, I think it's cool that you watch both shows and are a fan of both shows, and I feel very lucky to have been a part of both of those shows. Uh, and, and look, I, I don't know if the zombies were going to become a reality, maybe. My wife sure believes in all supernatural things, so, you know. Over my shoulder, you, know, you know, you never know. Uh, I, nothing shocks me, and I hope that hopefully I played some characters in, 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 in my make believe life that uh, the one trait they have is nothing seems to shock them. So hopefully that will carry on for me, and, and I can pass that on to my kids. But my kids want nothing to do with my career, like at all. And we made each other a little bit. My Gus is like, you'd rather do anything besides. Just said his birthday, and I'm uh, going off on a tangent. Um, anyway, thank you. Thank you for bringing joy to our lives with your art. Thank you very much. It's all
just want to give context. Come on, let's go. Come on, give it a little high. Hey fam bam. So it's after the con. I just I took very minimal video at this convention. It's my first ever supernatural convention. I didn't know how things were gonna go. I was taking people who have never been to a convention, a nerdy convention like this. Um and the first day I was in costume and typically if I'm I can either do vlogging stuff or I can be in costume. I'm not good at doing both and conventions tend to overwhelm me in that aspect. Um, so thus the kind of very choppy video clips and the randomness of everything. I, the only people out of Supernatural I have ever seen in person is Jared, Jensen, Misha, Gabriel and uh, I say Gabriel um Richard <laughs> and uh Rob who's Gabriel in the show and Chuck aka God in the show um and then the Winchesters and Cass because I saw them at the last ever Supernatural panel at Comic-Con uh so this convention, first of all, a lot smaller than any other convention I've ever been to. I have very limited convention experience. I have been to WonderCon a couple of times, I've been to San Diego Comic Con, and now I've been here. Um, it was very small. It was really nice because in Burbank, so it was literally 30 minute drive. Amazing. Um, literally right across from the airport. Also amazing. Super easy to get to. Um, it was a nice place to have a convention. I didn't realize it was going to be that small. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot bigger. Um, I did, I will insert picture somewhere probably here. Um, I did indeed enter the cosplay contest, which I wasn't really sure about. Normally I don't enter contests like that. I just that parading in front of people like that normally makes me nervous. Um, I do love going to conventions and having people say, hey, can I take a picture with you? Or can I take a picture of you? Um, I love being out and about and having people go, hey, I've seen your YouTube videos, all of that, I don't mind. But all of a sudden being in front of a crowd, especially because it was by myself, like, and none of my, I didn't have any friends or anything that dressed up with me. So that makes me nervous. Um, but everybody was super nice. Everybody I talked to was super nice. All the vendors were nice. All of the cast that we went up and chatted with, super nice. Uh, we chatted with Mark Shepard, who plays Crowley. We chatted with um, Sam Smith, who plays Mary Winchester. We chatted with Ruth Connell, who plays Rowena. 
Um, and I feel like that was it. I feel like that's all like we we one on one chatted with. Um, all the panels were very good. All of the actors were very nice. Everybody was in a good, happy mood. Um, Jensen was only on a panel on Sunday. Um, so Gold Numbers got a panel in the morning with him and Jeffrey D. Morgan. And then Jensen and Misha had a panel together. Um, we, as you would have seen in this vlog, um, Tabitha got to ask Jeffrey D. Morgan a question. Um, they put you in a raffle for that. Uh, so there you have it. But uh, back it up to the cosplay contest. Um, I entered it and uh, it's the first time I've worn my cosplay out and about. I did the classic con crunch um, and I won $150. I won first place in this contest. Um, there was me and like six other people, I think. Five other people? Six? Um, I thought it was funny because they do a con like a they technically it's a two part cosplay contest. They have cast the Castiel portion and then everybody else. So Cass is obviously a very popular character to cosplay. He's also a very easy character, but I did like the two cat there was two people who were dressed up as Cass. Um, and they picked very different seasons of Castiel, which was kind of cool. So, and it's always fun to see everybody's variation. Um, I was very excited that I won. I won $150 to spend at the convention at the official Creation Net booth. Um, I would like to thank Creation for putting on stuff like this. They do it not just for Supernatural. I know they have Vampire Diary ones. They just did a Smallville one. They do a lot of Warner Brothers shows, at least from what I can tell. Um, and all of the people were very nice. The only thing that was confusing was because technically we bought day passes, even though we went Saturday and Sunday. Um, and they had two, just the letter Q rows, because like you get, you can have assigned seating. Um, and we got the general admission, but preferred, which means we had a guaranteed seat in a guaranteed spot. Um, I would say it's worth the money if you're going to like a, a bigger convention. Um, like I should have done that for my Austin convention that I'm going to, but I didn't know they did the general admission with assigned seating. So, um, and now I know. Um, so, uh, but Christine and I normally show up to conventions very early anyways, because I get very anxious about being there early. <laughs> Um, but there was two row queues. So there was queue for some people who bought three day pass passes and then a queues for those who bought single day passes. So we were actually sat in the wrong seat for like a good half, three quarters of the day. Um, and the people finally showed up and said, Hey, you're in our seats. We're like, oh, okay. Um, so we went and sat in our assigned seat. Um, and then the like five rows in front of us, T Tabitha was like watching and she's like, nobody has been in those seats all day. I think we can chance it. Um, so we did and we scooted up. Um, that was the only con about having assigned seating. Cause typically at least at all of the comic con official events, um, like if you get in that room first, you beeline straight to the front and you can stay there all day. The second you move your meat, you lose your seat though. So if you're not with anybody, that kind of stinks. Um, most of us travel in pairs. So uh, Christine and I have done it to where like, if she had to go to the bathroom, she would leave and then come back in most of the time. And I would just save her seat. Um, but uh, you can do that in this one. So typically, like, if there's a panel we want to see, we go in, like, three panels before. And then every panel as people leave, we scoot closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. Um, we've gotten into the front row a few times doing that. Um, but you can't do that at this convention because there is assigned seating. And they give you a wristband with certain colors for certain passes and stuff like that. Um, so there's pros and cons. Um... I think for this one, you could have done without the tiered seating, but that's just my opinion. 
Um, but yeah, so Tabitha got to ask her question. They did a raffle. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I got, what I got with the $150. Now, $150 gets you quite a lot of things. So technically, um, I got all my stuff, plus Tabitha got a t-shirt and my mom got a tote bag. Um, but yes, so first thing, um, that's not for me. I picked up two of these Supernatural puzzles. Um, they're only 500 pieces, which makes me kind of sad because um, I picked up two to give to my two best friends, George and Tammy. They're both big puzzle people and they're both Supernatural fans. And this one's designed like a book. So it'll be really cute on their shelves. And I, I got it for free. So um, they were, the table had them for 25 each, which is why I went, mm, I could probably find that on Amazon and then ship it to them for free. But because I won $150, they were free. So there was that. Um, ooh. Um, I have been looking at this tarot deck for a while. I love the, I, I don't necessarily believe like in tarot readings necessarily. Um, I kind of take them with a grain of salt. I do like that to think that if you're seeking something, it can help you maybe define what you're looking for or maybe what you should be looking at. Um, I don't know how to read. Uh, it comes with a handy dandy little notebook to kind of teach you how to read it and what it means. Um, but I love the, this is a bad example, but, um, I love the art style of these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and I was just looking at it cause I, I love cards like like I loved Pokemon cards and things like that. I never played the game that comes with the card, but I like the cards themselves. Um, and I think that's just the artist in me liking the style. Um, and so I figured, well, they were free. So why not? These were also technically $25 on the creation table. Y you can find them cheaper on Amazon or from Barnes and Nobles. Um, so I got those. My mom got a tote bag that had a moose and a squirrel on it. That was also 25. Um, for participating in the costume contest, I got a lanyard that has the the road so far to her head 2024. So I like that it has the year. And then I think this was the last thing I got. Which did we need another backpack? Absolutely not. Did I need something with Jensen's face on it? That wasn't a t-shirt? Yes. So I got this cool soldier boy backpack. And what's kind of cool, I'm pretty sure it's made out of a sweatshirt. Because it's got the pocket in the back. Which I know you go, what do you, what do you put in the pocket? But it's really nice. Um, I normally throw my car keys in there. And I could, if I have an outfit that doesn't have any pockets, I can put my cell phone in here and not have to dig into my backpack. But uh, it's also super cuddly. So technically, if I just put like a sweatshirt in here, it'd basically be pillow. And it's got Jensen's face on it. Um, and I don't have anything like, what is this? Why is there so much random stuff? I need to clean my room real bad. Um, I don't have anything Soldier Boy besides my Funko Pop, but I do have like a The Boys t-shirt with the the boys on it, um, but nothing from Jensen's season. So I picked that up. I was looking at it kind of like, every, you know, Saturday and then I was like, mm, and then I won. And so Sunday is when I actually did my shopping and we got that. Now, um, something that I did not win what was my birthday present from Tabitha. Um, Tabitha, I don't know if I explained, Tabitha is my, uh, one of my work wives. She's one of my supernatural people. Um, 
she uh yeah she's amazing she's the best um both of our birthdays are in april so we very much treated all of the shopping we did at this convention as a happy birthday to us um but i saw this sweater and they were on offer from a place called not topic i think you can find them on etsy if i remember to look them up when i am writing the description box for this video i will put it in the description below um the man running the booth i have no idea what his name is he was very nice um but they had a very nice selection of supernatural things um all the you know t-shirts hoodies they had embroidered flannels which i thought was cool embroidered sweatpants which was also very cool um and embroidered blankets so lots of cozy items but i saw this this colored sweater and this design it came in a t-shirt and a sweater and i was like what do i buy it in because we all know i have too many t-shirts and too many sweatshirts um i have at least like five supernatural t-shirts at this point or more doesn't include the tank tops um but i only have two supernatural hoodies so i got it in a hoodie and i got it it's a gildan sweater so um typically i normally wear a large but i wanted this to be super cozy i wanted it to be something that i could just lay around the house in because i'm always unsure about this nude color I don't know if it looks good on me. It looks really good with my hair, with my red hair though. Like, I know this lighting is really bad, but super cute. Um, but I wanted it to be basically something that I hang around the house in. And I just, I had to have something. It had baby on it. Look at how pretty that is. I love the vibe. I love the aesthetic. I love everything that's happening. This pair of black booty shorts absolutely it's what i'm hanging around the house in um gildan sweater super comfy um the hood is nice and big again this one's in an extra large so for me that's baggy uh, i typically wear a large in a gildan sweater um, which is normally a bit tighter around the tummy area for me but it fits perfectly in the chest and the shoulders so typically i am 100 percent willing to take that wanted this to lay around the house in um so tabitha bought that for me for my birthday so um very nice and then i actually made her which i don't think i took any pictures of it but i made her a jean jacket which you can see in this picture um i thrifted this jean jacket it was a lucky brand jean jacket thrifted it for like i think it was like eight bucks and went, mm, I'm going to make Tabitha a jean jacket. I wanted to make her something Supernatural related. This was way before we even thought about coming to this convention. And then when I was in Oklahoma, my sister, Natalie, um, her family owns a chain of thrift stores. They always have. And when she picked us up from the airport, she... Uh, horribly made us have to go shopping for an hour while she finished work and i found this supernatural t-shirt um it is their season 15 hack topic exclusive t-shirt um i believe it benefited charity um but i bought myself one and tammy one and i don't know why i don't never bought tabitha one but found this shirt in the thrift store uh, for one, tragedy that it was in a thrift store. How dare you, whoever donated it. But two, it had a hole in it. And I was like, okay, so it can't, I can't just like give it to her as a t-shirt. I wasn't even thinking about giving it to her actually at all. But I was like, I can't leave it there. I can't leave a Supernatural Hot Topic t-shirt in the thrift store. So I picked it up. Had no idea what I was going to do with it. Bought it home and then looked at her jean jacket hanging in my closet and went, oh. <gasps> I wonder if I can like pin it to the because my jean jacket I have a Pirates of the Caribbean um cut out from a sweatshirt that I used to love but the sweatshirt was all like ugh. um but the back was fine so I cut it out put it on my jean jacket I was originally going to safety pin it but I thought well what if I sew it because as much as I love the safety pin look I buy the cheap safety pins so they like bend and fly off all the time and so I was like you know what I sew it to the back and then I'm gonna cut the rest of the t-shirt up because it has like the big picture on the front 
and then on the back it said um what does it say the end i think it says the end on the back and then a little bit lower than that it has sam dean and baby riding off into the sunset and then obviously there's a supernatural logo somewhere so i cut all of that off made the front of the t-shirt the new back of the t-shirt and then um put like everything else like there's letters on the sleeve and the little supernatural logo here and then the boys are on one of the pockets so uh it came out very good she i gave it to her now her birthday is also in april i gave it to her now because i was like she's gonna want to wear this to the convention and she did which makes me happy um but we had a great time it was amazing i can't wait to experience the austin convention i know it's going to be a lot busier than this convention is it's still in a hotel so it's still smaller than like WonderCon, but i don't think it'll be as small as this one because it's austin and if you don't know the boys uh jared and jensen live in austin um but my friend christine and i uh we're kind of doing dirty 30 um in Austin. She won't be 30 yet, but I will. Um, but we'll celebrate her early. It's fine. And so we're going to go to the brewery and we're going to have a great time. But this convention was really great. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I need to remember, <laughs> one, not to make any more cosplays that have to do with making a Mandalorian helmet. No more. Future Jamie. Um, two, always take the telephoto lens forever and always I always think it'll be fine it'll be great it, no I should have taken the telephoto lens should have done it but it is what it is um and sorry for the shorter video actually I'm not really sorry for the shorter video um I, I gotta go to bed I gotta be at work very early but uh I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to do all the youtube -y things down below and please subscribe I'm trying to hit 30, 30 hundred, 300 is the correct terminology for that. I'm trying to hit 300 for my 30th birthday, uh, which is April 1st. So please tell um, everybody to subscribe because uh, I think we're eight, third, twenty-eight, twenty-eight away as far as I know. Unless more people unsubscribed. I had somebody unsubscribed the other day and I was like, <gasps> but honestly, fair. Because I, I've recently unsubscribed from people too, so it happens. Um, so subscribe, like this video. Uh, don't forget to check me out around the internet. 